So we'll start with what is successful digital transformation? If it sounds like a buzzword, it's a buzzword. If you go online, if you read any industry publications, you're from Salesforce, uh, which we think is particularly good. And I'll read it and then I'll, I'll simplify it even further. The process of using digital technology to create new or modify existing business processes, culture, and customer experiences to meet the changing business and market requirements. So what does this tell us? It's doing something new digitally. It's not just buying something. Digital transformation to you know, a Boston restaurant different than it is to Salesforce. Well, let's start with strategic focus. Restaurants have a very narrow strategic focus, delighting their guests, serving food, experiences. They're not, they're not building things. They're, they're very focused on delighting guests and serving food. They have limited budgets. We all know uh, restaurants are a tough industry. There's not as much margin in, in restaurants as there are some other industries. So there's not always going to be a ton of budget for big projects. Shifting market dynamics. I don't know about you all, but like when I, like five years ago, every new concept was burgers, and then it was juice and smoothies, and now it's tacos, it seems. Um, but it changes very quickly, and consumer trends seem to change a lot as well. Then there's bandwidth. It, again, one of those things that we've all heard, labor challenges are hitting every industry. However, I like to call it a labor imbalance to try and just get orders through and get customers served. Looks like in restaurants. Um, and then last but not least, I mentioned this underserved technology. They are years behind other industries, and that's a big limiter to what they can actually do digitally. So uh, to do this right, restaurants need to focus on four key areas. This is research we've done on our own, and we've broken them down into the following four. Uh, understanding guest behavior. They need to have a clear strategy, and then they have to measure against it. They need to be really strong with change management, and they have to understand the technical capabilities and any project reflect short or long-term trends. If it's a short-term trend, maybe you're not gonna make an entire technology change. Maybe it's not right to do digital transformation. See, clicker doesn't work, digital, it's not working. No, I'm kidding. Strategy <laughs> and management. Our project goal is clear, measurable, and tied to a specific business outcome. Does project strategy consider people, processes, and technology? Well, this last one's really important. What happens if you don't spend budget on a specific product? It makes a big change. It doesn't matter if the locations aren't going, if they don't implement it. Um, what new skills and capabilities will staff have to learn to drive this transformation? And are there incentives for them to do so? Finally, technical capabilities. If you're going to use new technology, you should probably make sure it works. You should probably make sure it's simple to use and people are, can actually implement it. Uh, and last but not least, is it flexible enough to, to change in the field? This one I cannot underscore enough. If you're going to make digital transformation, you probably need frameworks for doing this well and successfully. I want to give you two examples of actual Toast customers who have done this in the field. The first one I have for you um, is the melting pot. Anyone been to a melting pot? Oh wow, more hands again too, this is great. Uh, I think there's only one in Massachusetts. But the melting pot, um, but BU students come from everywhere, I know better than that, I'm one. Um, the melting pot, uh, meaning you go for anniversaries, Valentine's Day, graduation parties, and it's an experience you have together as a group, in person. It's fondue for those who don't know, um, and I only went for the first time in like 2018 when we started working with them, but fondue by nature is something you do on where I'm going with digital transformation in 2020 with the fondue restaurant. Um, but what happened was COVID, and they had a shock to the system. They had to pivot very quickly. Their project wasn't, they knew this guest behavior was going to stay. They knew that guests were going to have to stay home. There was nothing they could do about that for the time being. The next one I want to share is Velvet Taco. Uh, Velvet Taco is a group down in Texas. And again, back to tacos. They're, they're known for their brand, their unique topics, their unique ideas. Uh, and it's a big, in your face kind of logo and your design. It's really, really cool if anyone ever gets to go to one. Um, and their, their problem, we talked about melting pot, was the channel before the pandemic hit. So then the pandemic hit, and it was like, oh my god, we have too many customers. Which is like a great problem to have, but it's still a problem. If you can't serve everyone that wants to go to your restaurant, you've got to do something about it. So what they decided to do was really study their back of house. And they wanted to drill down a specific thing. The metric that they wanted to drill, on, drill down on was throughput. And to do that, they decided they were going to focus on they didn't use those um, before. The Velvet Taco said, 
how can we get more people through our kitchens from these online orders faster? So they study, they actually brought in like a team to study the, the like hand movements and the spacing in their kitchens. And what they did was they needed less space inside during COVID. So they, what they did was they actually doubled up their lines. And they put two kitchen display screens where they used to have a printer or even maybe just one. And they backed up and made a double line. And they were able to do this quickly they did during COVID was they had these online orders come in, but it wasn't just making them. How do you get everyone to pick them up and get out of here? So they built a drive through They're not fast food. There was no fancy ordering machine. It was just a pickup drive through to keep some organization in the chaos. So Velvet Taco, Melting Pot, both have used big changes. We're going back to the, the definition. They instituted technology one. So they made it. Do we actually have the people on site who can execute this? Technically, can we do this? Well, they have another trusted partner in Toast, which was great. So they could execute it. And today, both these brands are thriving and doing very well using guest-based technology. So uh, ooh, I have one more slide. And you guys didn't tell me that we're going more forward. But I, I, I talked through it.